Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're returning, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Jahaira and in this page or YouTube channel, we talk about nursing, lifestyle, and much more. So that being said, guys, take a minute and pause like share and smash that subscribe button help me reach 200 subscribers and guys pause again smash that subscribe button <laughs> so what's up guys god bless everyone i hope you're having a great day i am and i really hope you guys had an amazing week weekend wherever you're at um just i hope you're having a great day so comment down below guys Tell me what kind of nursing videos you want to see. And basically today, I'm going to be talking about how much do LPNs really make. So this is going to vary depending the type of setting you want to work in. But as you know, I was gone for like three to four weeks, like literally a month. I just went MIA. I was <laughs> just doing undercover detective work just kidding <laughs> but i was literally guys investigating basically every facility and their mother <laughs> guys i'm not even kidding like i was calling literally every facility um when it comes to clinics when it comes to long-term care facilities rehab centers i was calling health home health cares um and just different locations and seeing how much nurses make especially new nurses and um, I know it will vary based on your experience and because I do have substantial experience in the healthcare field um, That counted for me. So this might not count for you if you don't have any, but I got the nitty-gritty for you guys. So After doing so much research guys, I came up with a range that this is what generally new nurses make and this might vary from state to state um, I want to emphasize and to disclaim that I am in the state of Washington and each county or each city might be different, especially if you're like in Seattle area versus Tacoma versus um, Kent or, you know, if you're more in the city like Seattle, then you might get paid more because it's probably going to be uh, probably going to be higher paid out in Seattle because I'm just assuming it's more of the city. But that being said, guys, these are the ranges I came up with. So the lower end would be $20 and the higher end would be $38. I know this is a big range, guys, but just hear me out. So when I was calling these different um, facilities and I was asking, a lot of the clinical jobs offered from $20 to $25. And this was because, one, they said that you're a new nurse, you don't have experience. And two, because of the setting itself, like clinic um, nursing was mainly 25. Um, hospital nursing also in a hospital called Providence and in the hospitals that are like CHI and all these other types of multi-care hospitals in the ED was going to be 25 to 27, which was shocking because I thought that they were going to pay more. But no, when I did my home care agency um, interview and then I went to the orientation, I actually met a girl that she also was a ER new nurse and she was there for six months now. But when she got hired, she actually got paid $25, $25 to begin with. And I was like, what? $25? And she's like, yep, $25. <laughs> I was like, no way. So she needed more money and it wasn't cutting it for her. So then I went ahead and I started to look into the long-term care facilities. And as you know, long-term care facilities are always low staffed and just too much crap goes on there behind closed doors that... If you have ever worked as a CNA in a long-term care facility, you know. I have. I've seen it all. But in long-term care, the pay also ranged from 26 to 35 depending also your experience. And if you're a new nurse, they wanted to pay you more like 27 I called guys, I kid you not, to several of them and I actually um, had several, several interviews and a lot of them wanted to pay me like 27 28 and then guys um home care 
So let's talk about home care pay. Home care pay, they did pay a little bit more, but there's a lot of factors like if you see my video about why I quit home care and they pay more because you do have to travel, you have to, um, some places reimburse you like mileage and stuff like that, but you have to travel to different locations. Each client has their own needs. So based on the severity of that client, you'll get paid more. Um, stuff like that comes into effect with the pay and stuff. But yeah, home care pays from 32 to 38. So those are the ranges I have came up with. Um, and this is all based on the research I have done. Um, I kid you not, guys, I have literally been calling so many different places. And you might ask, like, why? Why are you looking up all these um, hourly pay ranges? Like, why is it so important? Blah, blah, blah. Like, I know I have specified in my other videos that pay isn't as easy important to me than experience but I wanted to just do this research out um, for you guys because I wanted you guys to be prepared and know what to expect um, when you become an LPN and what you guys will get paid and also I want to add in that there's also um, telehealth nursing now um, that I have found out which is like remote nursing and you can do like phone calls and you can do like um, basically like virtual work I didn't do research about that because that's still kind of new and then there's also um, traveling nursing and traveling nursing for LPNs they pay really really good as well um, I will make another video for you guys about um, actually traveling monitor tech jobs because we have actually a lot of them at my job right now so I grabbed one of them and I asked her if she wanted to do an interview with me and for my YouTube channel and etc she said yes so I will post that video as well for you guys so you guys can see that so guys I hope this video helps you understand what a new LPN would be making and looking um, into you know as pay rate and if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and smash that subscribe button and help me reach 200 subscribers. And peace out, guys. God bless.